y'all welcome to my channel and in today's video i am going to be doing an unboxing and a flip through of the new simply good and beautiful level k math from the good and the beautiful so stay tuned Okay, y'all. Well, if you are new, welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. My name is Dina, and I'm a homeschooling mama of five kiddos, seven and under. And on this channel, I share my passions for Christ, for homeschooling, and for encouraging mamas in their faith and in this amazing and beautiful, but also a little bit chaotic and crazy season of motherhood. So if you'd like to join me on this journey, then click the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to click the little bell icon so you know whenever new videos pop up. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore Pursuing Peace if you'd like to get an inside glimpse on what goes on around here on a daily basis. All right, you guys, well, I have a really exciting video for y'all today. I came home from church this morning and on my doorstep was a box from the good and the beautiful that I have been waiting for and it is their new simply good and beautiful math level K now this is not released yet um, it is going to be released at the end of June I don't know a specific date yet um, but it is going to be released at the end of June but the good and the beautiful they're so gracious and they partnered up with me to show you guys the inside of what this looks like a little bit more and so they sent it to me a little bit early so that way we can I can look at it and I can show it to you guys and we can flip through it and you can ask me questions and just different things like that so thank you so much good and the beautiful for um, sponsoring this video and for partnering with me in that um, to show you guys and give you guys um, what you want which is to see inside this and to actually see probably a lesson being done um, I am gonna try to do that here in the next few days or so um, to see really what a lesson looks like from this new new curriculum from the good and the beautiful I'm so excited so without any further ado I'm just going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you what we've got all right you guys so here is the box for the good and the beautiful I did open it up already and it's got my address on this side so um I wanted to hide that but I know that you guys wanted to see what it looks like when you first open the box so when you first open the box, you see this, welcome to a good and beautiful education. It's got their website on this side and here you can already see a little peek of the math activity box that comes with it. So I'm gonna pull this out. Oh wow, oh, it just comes right open. All right, all right. Oh, look, you can see a little bit of it. Okay, so here's the box. We're gonna put it over here. Let's get the rest out. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness, wow. So it's packed really well, but they're, I was like already planning on like not filming the opening because usually it's really tight in there. So, this is my husband. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, oh man. Okay. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the book. I got rid of all of the um, bubble wrap, but here, and then I open this up here. And so we're gonna open this like this. Oh my goodness, and I know this is what you guys wanna see. This is what I've been wanting to see. So this is all of the math manipulatives, which is amazing because if you had the other good and the beautiful math, you know it was like a big box of manipulatives. So this is so cool. It's like a wooden box. Um, it's kind of like Melissa and Doug Esque. Um, and it's just so beautiful. What does it say here? Okay, items included one, one through six, one numbers, one through six dice, one numbers, seven through 12 dice, two equation dice, two game pawns, three cars, and 15 counting sticks. So, yes, so beautiful. All right, so let's open this up. Nice, so it just slides right open. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand, you guys. Okay, slides right open. And then everything is individually wrapped here. Here we go, here are the dice. Here are the game pawns. Those are so cute, oh my goodness. 
And then here are the counting sticks. So good. Okay, so I'll open these up so we can get a closer look at these. All right, you guys. Well, looky here, so look at these cars. So they're all wooden cars. Oh, that's got a two on it. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So that's got a two on it. And this is kind of like more of like a truck, I guess, or convertible. <laughs> it's got a one on it. And then here we've got a th number three on it. This is just so fun. Look at how cute those cars are. Um, and then we've got the, the dice. So this is one through, no, I forgot what it said. One through six, right? There's a one that's one through six. There's one that's one through 12. Looks like it. And then the equation ones. So then you've got one that's like an equal sign, minus sign, plus sign. And then even like the greater than and less than signs. Um, and it looks like you got two of those, right? Yes. Wonderful. And then you've got two game pawns, which is so neat. And these are so cute. They're like little people. <laughs> and then these are just your number sticks. So it looks like, oops, looks like they are wooden sticks. Yep. And they're just numbered sticks. And how many did it say it had? 15, 15 counting sticks. Sorry, I think I said numbered sticks, whatever. 15 counting sticks. Um, so that's the activity box, you guys. Ah! All right, so now let's come over and look through the actual course book. First impressions is this is actually thicker than I thought it was going to be, but is definitely thinner <laughs> than the two other books that used to come. So their older level K-Math had two books, um, book one and book two, and each of those books were um, probably, if not at least this thick, a little bit more thicker than um, what this actually is too. So let's go ahead and open it up. Here we go, math level K, a hundreds chart right at the get-go. Here we've got the table of contents. And this I think you can actually go and see online. I believe the table of contents is in there. So it starts over here. The very first lesson is numbers one through three. So again, this is kindergarten math. It's gonna start pretty gently. <laughs> and they have different units. So this is unit one, two, and three. And by the end, the last lesson, it's going to be um, one more or one less, part four. So I guess they do that a few times within the course book. Um, so, but here they cover months of the year. So the months of the year and everything are actually in here. They devote a few lessons to those. So before in the older edition, they had a calendar where you would go through the months of the year um, and the days of the week, like every time you open it up. Um, but now they have focus lessons for calendar time within um, the math level. Okay. okay, so we've got our hundreds chart here. We have about the course here. Okay, and it's got supplies needed up here, which is pretty easy, you guys. <laughs> 10 pennies, 10 nickels, 10 dimes. That's wonderful. Before it was like 100 pennies, and I was like, oh my gosh, where am I going to find 100 pennies <laughs> without going to the bank? Um, so course organization, so it's got some tips there. Daily lessons, these are good to review. So that way you kind of know, okay, how do I teach this? It's all in here. Frequently asked questions, how to get started, how long are lessons, is Math Level K a spiral or mastery program, do you include any specific doctrine, is there an answer key, how do I know the hundreds chart, how do I use the hundreds chart on the first page of the course book, that's good, how can I provide extra addition and subtraction practice, so those are all answered here on this first page. And I don't know if this page is actually on the sample pages that they provide for you, but if y'all wanna know the answers to any of these um, and it's not on the sample pages, then just let me know. Unit one overview. This is something that I really do like that they have done, not only with, I guess, the math levels, but with the language arts um, newer editions, is they give you a unit overview. It's like, okay, this is what they're going to learn within this one unit. So you kind of know um, what's gonna happen for the next few weeks. So this is only from lessons one through 40. 
So here they have some extra supplies, a fruit snack or a small food item, three small objects in nature. So pretty, pretty easy, you guys, pretty easy. New concepts taught, parent teacher tips. Oh, this is really good. So these are tips for us watch video, how to teach correct pencil grip from the good and the beautiful, how to use the, the hundreds chart, what to gather. Guys, it's so good. Okay, so here's lesson one. So they used to have a daily dose. Now it is like kind of more of a review. And this is pretty easy. Practice items. The child has not mastered. Identify the colors. And this is good because gray is always one that uh, we might not remember to teach our little ones. <laughs> if you're anything like me. Um, count to 15. If needed, have the child point to the numbers on the hundreds chart on page, okay, on that other page, um, whenever counting. This is so pretty, you guys. So the lesson is this page and this page. And as you can see, there is very little words on here. Um, that was something that a lot of people did um, complain about or they just had concerns with how much reading that we had to do as parents and that we'd lose um, the attention of the child. And I had both children. I had my first child like love for me to read all of the different things, even though she can read on her own. She loved for me to read all the different things. But then my second child, like I'd lose him in the stories and you know, it was just hard to keep his attention. And so it definitely depends on the child. We still loved it. We still loved their math. Um, but not having all of that is, I think, a little bit better, just a little bit more streamlined, so I'm excited about that. And here's just a better idea, a drive across the hill. So here's an activity where they would use their little wooden cars. Oh, how fun, because as soon as they see those cars, they're going to want to use them. <laughs> so the blue is what you can read to yourself. So it says here, read to the child. And then the black is what you read out loud. So this is the only thing that you are going to be reading out loud to your child. So that is wonderful. And I think, yep, that is all of lesson one. Here's lesson two. We're gonna learn about 10 frames. Cute little house. They're gonna cut these out. I'm not really sure what they're gonna do with them yet, but they are cutting them out. That's always a fun activity. Um, here, color matching. So they're gonna recreate this over here. numbers four to five. So this is good. So when it says this numbers four to five or numbers one to three, it's not that they're learning how to count to numbers four and five. It's that they're learning what four and five really are. Like what is four? What does it mean to be a number four? You know, how can I use the number four? So they really understand and grasp the concept instead of it just being kind of like, well, one, two, three, four, five, you know, and that's really all they know of it. Um, this is kind of goes a little bit deeper into what number four actually means, that it is four different objects or five different objects. And it looks like there's some handwriting in here. They're learning how to write the numbers. Oh, that's the whole lesson right there. That's the whole lesson there. This is the whole the lesson for number four. Oh, and that's the whole lesson for number four. Here's lesson five. Again, they're probably going to be using their cars. Oh, I love that. I love that. So these are super short lessons. According to the Good and the Beautiful, lessons are supposed to only take probably about um, 10 to 12 minutes. So it's not going to be a lot. And by that, I mean it's not going to take very long, which is good because I know when we first started our um, lessons from the other Good and the Beautiful, it was taking us about 40 minutes to do the lesson because we just didn't understand the, the daily dose and stuff. Um, towards the end, like this past year, it probably only took us about 20 minutes to do a lesson. But if we could do a lesson in 10 to 12 minutes, then that would help those of us that have multiple children, most definitely. <laughs> I wanted to see this here. So, as a spatial reasoning activity, have the child recreate the following designs using items from the math activity box. It doesn't matter what numbers are showing on the dice. So they see these pictures and they're supposed to recreate it with the dice and the counting sticks in here. So that's cool. It's kind of tricky, isn't it? I don't know, let's try it. <laughs> All right, so I got, oh, there's only three blocks. Look at that, I'm already messing up. <laughs> so three blocks. 
And how many sticks do I need? I need three sticks. Oh, that's that's tricky, you guys. It's probably gonna be completely fine. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's do this. All right, and then we put it like that. I did it, I did it. I think I can pass math level K. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so fun. It's just so fun. It's so fun and it's so convenient and nice to have everything right here. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Oh, we figured it out before. We did and we loved it. And we would have used Good and the Beautiful Math for the rest of our homeschool, you know, lives. But um, it's just so great that we have a company, the Good and the Beautiful, that listens to people and listens to their concerns and their needs and tailors it because the good and the beautiful could have very well been like you know what we're just going to keep it the way it is because we think it's fine but they weren't they're were like yes let's listen to our people and let's give them what they need but give it to them in a good and beautiful and quality way oh i just love that I just love it. And they did studies on this, you guys. So it wasn't that they were like, okay, well, let's just make the lessons shorter and let's just put it all together. No, they did studies on how can we make these lessons shorter, but still give these kids the quality education that they, um, that they need. And how can we make these lessons easier to teach? I love these, these little spatial activities. These are so good. How can we make these lessons easier to teach for the parents? So, oh my gosh. And just see just classic, good and beautiful um, illustrations and designs. Okay, so here we've come to a unit assessment. So at the end of each unit, there is an assessment. Now these are not tests. Basically an assessment is going to tell you as the teacher what your child needs to work on. Um, and then you can decide as the teacher whether you think your child can move on and just keep going and maybe you can work on the specific things that they need as you continue on with all of the other lessons. Um, or you can decide to stop and work on those specific things for a while and then move on. Or if the child passes everything, no problem, you can just move on. And at least you know that this stuff is sinking in. And I love that. After every unit, not only with math, but with their language arts, they have an assessment where it's like, okay, let's stop and let's review and see, did this information sink into the child? Does the child know what we're talking about when we say this or that. It helps you because then instead of getting to the end of the book and being like, oh, uh, he didn't learn this or that or anything, <laughs> then you can stop. You have time to stop and reevaluate and see what's working, what's not, what you need to work on more. So I love these unit assessments and they're always just easy and gentle and yeah. I just love these. Okay, so what this says here is that these are lessons 39 and 40. And basically for 39, what you're gonna do is 39, you're gonna complete these three on top. And if your child needs additional ones, then you'll check mark these. So say this one, he did pretty good. This one, he needs additional work, so I'm gonna check that. This one, he needs additional work, so I'm gonna check that. And then the next day for lesson 40, then you will only do the check marked ones. So this one he didn't need any additional help with. And so I'm not gonna do that one, but we're gonna do this and this section. And then after those um, two lessons, you can decide whether or not your child um, can just move on or if you need to stop and practice something. So yeah, so those are neat. Oh, and here's just some more over here. All right, and then unit two, these are lessons 41 through 80. So these are the concepts here, addition up to five, count by tens, telling time is at the end of this. Oh, it did mention over here that the concepts in unit one will be addressed over here also, just not as much as it was in unit one. So they're just gonna, they're gonna keep building on these concepts within the next unit. I mean, it's addition, subtraction, and counting, so obviously they are going to um, keep using those. Again, some parent and teacher tips. Here they're working on tally marks. So yeah, you guys, so I'm just gonna kind of flip through this a little bit for you guys. Guys, this is so neat. I'm so excited. My little girl is going to flip when she sees 
that she has got a new math book she is going to flip. Um, oh yeah, they have these in here that you cut out, um, these pattern blocks. Oh, so pretty, oh my goodness. And then your coloring by number, wow, that's so good. So 15 plus one is 16, so you color that blue. Um, and here's where you can use the pattern blocks. Um, if you've got pattern blocks, we have pattern blocks. So um, it just depends what my um, child wants to use. Um, but actually now that I see this, um, this is a lot bigger than our pattern blocks. So we'll probably have to use the um, ones that she cuts out. This one kind of looks about the size of our pattern block, so I'm not sure how they're doing that in there. So again, over here, if she wants to bring out the pattern blocks that we do have, then that will be fine. All right, so we're just kind of flipping through. I love that they have this little gardening thing. Caleb's greenhouse, so cute. We have learned a lot about gardening in the last like few months or so telling time now the good and the beautiful does have a video that they have come out with jenny phillips kind of talking about this a little bit more so i will link that video down in the description box if you'd like to get more information about um this curriculum she actually goes through i'm not sure if she goes through a lesson on her own or not um i can't remember um, but it is really good and it's worth watching I was so excited to see that. They're just so good. They, this company is just so good. And they um, really take into consideration what would make our lives as homeschooling mamas. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty, look at that. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, what would make our lives as homeschooling mamas um, just easier and how we can just be more present with our kids instead of having this kind of curriculum where we have a bazillion different things that we have to do and we just get a little bit frustrated because it's just too much um, and then our homeschool days just don't <laughs> aren't very good or beautiful because we're just so stressed out um, so instead of having a curriculum like that it's just simple and easy to use and you can just have fun because the lessons are so short that now you can just have fun with your children and have a good time um, just playing with them. Oh my goodness, the lesson. Okay, so this is lesson 118, and then at the end, it's got a course assessment. So this is gonna go through um, the entire course. And this is what they do um, in their language arts, and it is what they do in their um, um, the older version of their math. And so this is nothing new, but again, this is a little bit different in that it takes up two days of lessons. I should say that differently. It doesn't take up two days of lessons. It can if you want it to, because I'm looking at it here and I'm like, you know what, we could probably do this in one day. Um, but it just is up to you. It is, it's up to you as the parents and I love that they give us that freedom. So it's not that it takes up the time of two lessons, um, but that it gives you the time if you need it, if that makes sense. Um, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All right, you guys, ah, that's the very last page. So there's no appendix, there's no flipping back and forth. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is so good. I think the only thing that we would have to flip to would be that very first like 100s chart, right? That's the very first thing and it's the very first page. So it's not even hard to find, you know, it's just so easy. Oh, good and beautiful, you are amazing. So that was it, you guys. Let me know what you'd like to see. If you'd like to see a lesson being done with this, um, with my little girl um, who is going into kindergarten this year, um, or if you have any questions, if you want me to do like a Q&A about it. I mean, this is brand new to me too, so I don't know if I can answer like all of your questions, <laughs> but I can try. Um, so yeah, you guys, just let me know what you'd like to do. This looks like it's amazing. And I know that we are probably not going to wait until August to start this <laughs> because it just looks so good.
All right, you guys, well, that was it. I hope that you enjoyed that unboxing and flip through. Again, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see with this. Um, like I said, it's not going to be released until the end of June. Um, so if you go on their website, you can see samples and just different things like that. Um, but definitely either go subscribe to the Good and the Beautiful's newsletter or um, on their Instagram page or get on their YouTube channel or something like that so that way you're notified when it is actually released. And I will probably let you know also um, when it's gonna be released. So subscribe to my channel and go follow me over on Instagram. All right, you guys, well, I hope you like this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And like I said, subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the little bell icon so that way you can get notified when new videos pop up and also when I post new things like the release date for um, The Good and the Beautiful Math. And let's be friends. Follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you're having a blessed day and I will see you next time with another video. Bye. Hi y'all, welcome, stop. Stop, this is supposed to be one take. Take two. Take two. <laughs> so, stay tuned. I was on that right Love it, and they did studies on this, you guys, so it wasn't, oh, my earring just fell out of <laughs> my ear. <laughs> That's dangerous. What? <laughs> Oh, my husband has been sitting here cracking jokes the whole time I've been recording. Just so y'all know. Would you like to tell them anything? No, I'm not your hair. <laughs> your hair is not camera worthy. <laughs>